I'm Judy Kerfoot, and I'm here today to talk about clinical, clinically isolated syndrome. Um, that is when you have a symptom of disease activity, and it is uh, may or may not result in MS. So if you've been diagnosed with it, don't get too upset initially. Um, and it is uh, accompanied by what it is is a, accompanied by scars or lesions. Um, and on a brain MRI. Now if you have this, um, you have symptoms, they can be um, visual problems, it could be numbness, it could be tingling. Um, there's numerous things that can go on but you will pretty much know when you're having a symptom that you shouldn't be having. Um, and how they, how they say at CIS is you have a brain MRI and this is where the may may not come into place. If you uh, have symptoms, they say you need an um, MRI of your brain. If there are lesions, um, then they will just keep an eye on it. And often these CIS that can come in, it, it's pretty brief sometimes. And if it's over, it has to be over 24 hours that you have the symptoms before they'll even go into the MRI usually. Um, if you have lesions and they look similar to what a person with um, MS has, then um, they'll just keep an eye on it and they won't necessarily treat you. Um, if they're severe enough, they will give you steroids by mouth or IV. Um, you can also have the MRI and not have any lesions. Um, then you will be CIS and they will, um, basically what they'll do is they'll just keep an eye on you. Now, um, you have a chance of, if you have um, the lesions, you do have a chance, which is 60 to 80 percent, that you will eventually develop MS. If you have no lesions, then you have a 20 percent chance of developing MS. Um, and if um, they will repeat things, if an additional, if you have an additional um, onset of symptoms, they will repeat it. And then if you do have lesions and they do, you do have more symptoms later, then they will probably diagnose you as relapsing remitting MS. Um, women are more likely than men to get this. And um, what else did I want to say about that? I can't remember. Anyway, because I have MS. <laughs> anyway, um, if you have any questions that I have not covered, then you can um, go on to the MS Frontiers website, msfrontiers.org, and there's just a multitude of information there about different kinds of MS or any questions you might have they could answer, and if not, then just email someone and we will get back to you. Thanks. Have a good day.